hey, you want to go out there, you want to go fishing, you want to catch fish, but don't make one of the biggest mistakes that I see anglers make in the pre-spawn time period. The pre-spawn is one of my favorite times to catch big bass. Those big females are starting to move shallow. They're thinking about spawning. They're getting into those areas where they're going to spawn and they're getting territorial. If they're territorial, that's right. They're going to be starting to bite. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of anglers make is they try to fish in the sun only. They're thinking that they want to find like the, the very warmest water on the lake. That is a mistake. The, they're they're going to still be predators. That's their instinct. Their instinct is going to be to eat what they can while they are in their area uh, of defense, in their predatory type um, territorial area. So what that means is a lot of times that's going to be in the shade. That might be on a, a short bluff bank towards the in the back of a pocket or at the mouth of a pocket leading into where a big spawning bay is. They might be in that shade. They might be under that dock that's right next to where they're going to spawn. They might be under that dock waiting for their next meal. If it's say sunny out, they may not be on that sunny side of the pocket so don't always think you've got to be in the sun you got to be in the warmest water a lot of times that's the south side that that gets the least amount of sun uh, you, the, the type of baits that you want to fish in those areas are the same they're the same as you're going to fish anywhere else pre-spawn some of my favorite pre-spawn baits definitely a chatterbait that fire crawl chatterbait uh, this is the missile bait spunk shad 5.5 and lava crawl on the back matches up very well. Got a little stain in the water, pre-spawn. Something about that color absolutely sparks them and gets them going. And, and that is a, one of my top, top baits in that pre-spawn time period. It's great around grass. It's great around secondary points. Uh, any, you can skip it under docks or throw it around docks. Those fish will be there. Uh, any, anywhere from zero to you know, six or eight feet of water, that, that chatterbait is going to be a really, really good one. The next one on my, my pre-spawn list is going to be a missile baits, missile, uh, is a I Ike's mini flip jig. I just, I can't even think straight when I think about all the big fish that I've caught in that pre-spawn time period on this jig right here. Black and blue or bammer crawl with that orange in there. Those are going to be my two colors. They're half ounce or three eighths. Going to be flipping it in that same those same places, lay downs on the way to spawning pockets, docks near spawning pockets, and if maybe you're starting to get closer to the spawn later in that pre-spawn, you may even want to go right up to where those spawning pockets are and start fishing those docks. Those bass could be under there, and that jig could be the ticket. Now, if you're in the earlier pre-spawn time period, or if you catch a day where you have a lot of wind. The Jerkbait Spro McStick 110 right here. This is a really, really good pre-spawn bait. A lot of those bluff banks that have that shade line on them are going to be a really, really, really good place to, to throw this. If you don't or you do have the wind, that shade line can still be key. So don't forget about it. Don't always fish the sunny side. If you have sun and the wind, that can be a great combination by itself. Uh, but don't just think that it's the sun that's triggering those fish to be there. One of my other ones is the Espro Aruku Shad. This is a big 75. This thing is, uh, it's caught so many big fish in the pre-spawn time period. It is crazy. That is a, a great color right there with the uh, gold, red, orange. Kind of seeing a little theme here. If it's not shad related, I'm going to go for something red or orange in that spectrum. We're going to throw this around grass, any type of gravelly points. Any, near those spawning areas, that's going to be a really good, you can slow, you can like steady reel it, you can kind of worm it and drag it along the bottom, that is kind of a little sleeper technique, or you can rip it, kind of pump it off the bottom, all three of those different techniques can catch them on that Aruku Shad, and then last but not least, the old Shad Wrap, that is a, a tried and true, now I didn't put a, a Spro Little John in here, and that is one of my absolute go-tos, but if you want something when things get really tough, 
things get really tough. And that can be in the pre-spawn time period, that can be when it's overcast, cloudy, and calm. That can be a really, really tough time to catch them. Sometimes that shad wrap a little more subtle can be good. If you, maybe you've been catching them on, a, on the chatterbait and then all of a sudden you get overcast and calm conditions, water's you know, maybe cleared up just a touch, the, the shad wrap can be a great way to catch them and throwing around docks, shady banks again, don't always think that you need in the, to be in the sun. That is a huge mistake. If you just fish what's in front of you, think about the pattern, think about where those fish are wanting to be, whether it's summertime or pre-spawn time period, you'll be a lot better off in the pre-spawn.